Hi guys, it's your best mommy ever. I'm in the middle of trying to get a room ready for my dad because he's coming to move um, in with me. So I've been cleaning all day, but I have to stop. I gotta take a break and I gotta tell you a cute story from yesterday. Well, I wouldn't say how cute it is. It was a quite a shitty story, but we went to this party. We ate like pigs all day. So we come home, we're resting. Go get ready for bed, get in bed. All of a sudden, you know, I'm just laying there trying to go to sleep and I freaking smell this smell. This smelled like a freaking dead animal was next to me. My freaking husband was blowing gas like a freaking steam engine, but it smelled like a fucking dead animal next to me. And I'm saying, what the hell are you doing? It smells like shit in here. I said, please go up, please get up and go to the bathroom because I can't take it. And yet he's going like this with the covers. Ooh, ooh, so funny, so funny. It smells so good, don't it? I said, please, Nick, I can't stand it. It smelled so bad. It, something crawled out of your ass. I don't know what it was, but it is disgusting. I was freaking gagging. You know how you gag like when something gets stuck on the bottom of your throat or you do something like in the olden days when you were young and what you're not supposed to do and start gagging when it reaches up? No. We can't talk about those bad things. Those were the younger days. <laughs> and I was going, ah, I was going, ah. Nick, the smell was so freaking bad. I couldn't take it. It was so bad. I'm saying, please take whatever crawled out of your ass and go get rid of it because it, the smell is bad. Then all of a sudden again, oh my God, it is so disgusting. It is bad. So that was that one of the I mean, sometimes it happens to me too, whatever. It is disgusting, whatever. I had to go back and lay on the couch last night because I couldn't take the smell. Now when it happens to me, I try to do those side at once. Then I put the head over, the covers over my head, and then I start giggling and laughing. <laughs> then I start laughing with the little giggle, little giggle. And then he says, did you get that? And I'm saying, no, and I'm giggling and giggling and giggling and giggling. He said, get out of here, you know, same shit, I mean, it happens to everybody. But, you know what else they do to me? My son and my husband will go shop in a Pathmark or wherever else, and we'll be in one aisle, and they'll fart, and then they'll run to the next aisle, so the people that are in the aisle next to me will smell their crappy ass, and then they'll look at me like I did it. I like to kill them when they do that. So you know what I do sometimes? I'll wait till we get to the next aisle and the people are in the next aisle with me and I'll point to them, I'll say, you know that smell you smelled before? It was them, not me. They try to run and get away with it. You're not getting away with it. You're not th they're not thinking that my ass smells like that. That's your freaking ass that smells like that, like a piece of shit. So you know, these are some of the stories. These guys do so many things to try to embarrass you. But don't try to embarrass me because I'm going to get you back, you little bastards, okay? So that's a little story for you today, okay? I had to get a break from this cleaning business, and I had to freaking tell you this little story. But anyway, I hope you guys did um, make that ice cream sandwich cake because it was so good. I mean, when you cut it, it looked so cool, and everybody ate it in my house. So I hope you tried it. It was great. Um, I'll probably see you again very soon. And... Uh, you know, I love you guys. I got to go to, um, I'm almost at, <clears throat> sorry, my subscribers are going up. So that's a good thing. So keep with me, babies. Okay. Bye.